Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Proper Guru. We are back with another tutorial video. In this video, we are going to learn all about Facebook ads. In this video, we will learn about introduction to the Facebook ad campaign, how to do competitor analysis, how to conduct an audience research and how to launch an ad campaign. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Proper Guru. Are you a beginner? and want to learn about how to run an effective Facebook ad campaign? If yes, then do watch the full video. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Whether you are running a marketing agency, an e-commerce store or even brick and mortar stores around the corner, Facebook ads effectively drive profitable sales. Today, in this video, we will learn about Facebook ads and how to launch them virtually step by step. At the end of the video, we will share some tips and tricks that will help you launch engaging ad campaigns. Let's get us started. What will we learn? Starting from introduction to the Facebook ad campaign, how to do a competitor analysis, how to do an audience research and how to launch an ad campaign. Here are some key terms to remember before launching an ad campaign. Campaign It is the highest level of hierarchy in the Facebook ad campaign manager. You have one campaign and under it you can have several ad sets. Under one ad set you can have 100 ads. It helps you target different locations, audiences and doing A-B testing on the Facebook ad campaign. Now moving on to your custom audience. The audience you have collected from a source such as your website visitors is your custom audience. Next we have is the look alike audience. The look alike audience is the audience who has similar interest, similar behavior and same demographics as a custom audience possesses. Suppose you run an ad campaign and have custom audience of 100 to 500 people while running the campaign for a day. It sums up significantly less. In this case, look alike audience comes to the rescue. As on the other hand, if you involve your look alike audience, it can reach a more significant number and can drive better engagement to your campaign. Let me show you how. This is how Facebook generates a look-alike audience. Facebook analyzes your custom audience, their gender, their age, interest and generate a pot of millions of audiences that fits best for your ad campaign. That is the power of look-alike audience. Next is CBO a campaign budget optimization. It is a new term introduced by Facebook. Moving on to the Facebook pixel, we will learn more about them later in the video. So without any further ado, let's dive in to the demo. When you log in to your Facebook Ads Manager account, you will see an interface like this. The layout will have sections, namely campaigns, ad sets and ads. Before launching an ad campaign, let me tell you how to do market research and competitor analysis. Both of these things provides you exactly what is going in the market which ads are working well and who of your competitors are working more than you. It is quite simple. Let's have a view. Come to your Facebook profile. Next is search for your competitors. For instance, if you are launching an ad for some sports equipment or adventurous care, here we are searching for GoPro. 
as they make fantastic stuff in terms of ad campaigns. They provide some great content and their ads work out well on the platform. It's a simple strategy which most people are not aware of. Scroll down to get the options of page transparency. Click on see all. You will see a small window displaying admin options and ads from this page. Currently, as you can see, they are not running any ads. Click on go to library. You will now be redirected to the Facebook ad library, which has a collection of all ads of the past and the present. Again, search for GoPro. You will find all the ads of a competitor, both inactive and active. You can spy the ads on all the platforms such as Instagram, Audience Network and Messenger. You can analyze the ads and find out what kind of content brings good engagement. Have you ever heard that history repeats itself? Well, in this case, it might. So here is a tip for you. What we do is we find the oldest ad and create content similar to it. It might feel useless to you now, but it brings excellent engagement. Before launching an ad campaign, you must conduct research, analyze your strategy and be aware of the market insights. You can use Facebook Ads Manager and make the most out of it to spy on a competitor and create strategy for a new ad. After you are done with your analysis and strategy, it's time to learn about audience research. Facebook provides a set of tools with the help of which you can determine the demographics of your audience. You can easily find out your target audience, location, interests and behavior. Let me show you how. In your Facebook ad manager, you will find a tile in the left bar that consists of business tools. Click on it and scroll down to find out audience insights. Click on it and a pop-up will appear and will show two options, everyone on Facebook or the people connected to your page. You can find about your known and unknown audience. Here we are selecting everyone on Facebook to find out about the audience of a niche. Moving on. Here you can see and create an audience. You can configure based on the location. You can also add multiple locations at once. Also, you can create based on gender, interest and pages they are connected to. Facebook will deliver a detailed demographic of your audience. You can use the data to set an ad campaign for a target audience. Here. We have entered the United States of America as the location filter and filling sports interest. Let's see what Facebook delivers us. As you can see in the results, we have several people in the United States of America. It lies between 100 to 150 million users. Moving on to other demographics, you can see the percentage of men and women in each category. It also displays a different percentage based on the age group. You can also see other information like relationship status, education level, job title and the pages they like. Looking in to the top categories and know about the audience number that the particular page has. It also shows the affinity percentage related to your targeted research.
You can also dive into the location filter to know where exactly your audience is most active. Click on an activity to know about the frequency and the device they are using. All this data helps you run an effective ad campaign. Now we are done with the competitor analysis as well as with the audience research. Let's jump into creating a new ad campaign. Go to campaigns and click on plus create tab on the left. A window will appear. Choose the buying type and go with the auction. Next, choose a campaign objective based on your business goals. You can select brand awareness, reach, traffic, engagement, conversions, lead generation and more. You can only choose one objective at a time. That's why there is a multiple campaign strategy formula that is used by Facebook so that users and advertisers can create multiple campaigns for different objectives. Here we are selecting brand awareness and clicking continues. Now fill out the necessary information such as the campaign name. Here we are naming it demo. Next we can see special ad categories. Toggle on only if the running ads are related to credit, employment, housing, social issues, elections or politics. Coming to the campaign details section. Here we have already selected auction and the campaign objective. We have A-B testing to test multiple campaigns and different versions of ads for the same objective. The ad which shows good results, we go with it and the one which does not deliver good results, either we revamp it or close it out. We will create a separate video on how to conduct A-B testing effectively. Moving on to campaign budget optimization. It is newly introduced by the platform. Before this, the advertisers used to optimize the budget by analyzing the data and the past analytics. Facebook now has its own algorithm using AI and deep machine learning to optimize the campaign budget. If a campaign budget is approximately 1000 USD, then Facebook will add $900 to your ad set 1 who is working well and the remaining $100 to the other 4 ad sets which are not performing well. Facebook will analyze and gives recommendations on how to optimize these ads better. It is a very powerful feature you can use as per your preference of the ad campaign. Here we are not opting for CBO. Click on next. Fill in the details. Here we are entering demo1 as the ad set name. Here you can see we have a new feature called dynamic creative. It is a broad topic and we will cover it afterwards. Now here we will configure the budget. You can choose a daily budget or a lifetime budget. Here we are choosing a daily budget as it is easy to optimize. We are adding INR 2000. Configure the date and time as per the preference of your ad campaign. Now coming to the audience setup. Remember we researched about a target audience in the starting. Now we can use the data and create some audience for our ad campaign. After filling out the audience, click on next. Coming to the final step, creating an ad. Fill out the information needed. Here we are naming it AD. Next we have an identity. It includes the details on which page and platform you want to run the ad. Here you can see 
we have selected proper guru we can launch multiple ads on multiple ad managers using a single ad manager you can maintain your facebook business account and instagram business account using one single business page moving on to the next we have a format the format depends on the type of content you are creating you can select a single image video or a carousel you can see a preview of how your ad will look on in stream search in article apps and the sites on the right side the next step you do is scroll down to the media make sure the resolution of the image is 3000 into 1055 pixels next you will move to configure the placement of your ad where you want to place your ads such as search feeds stories or more you can also edit placement for the instagram handle now you need to create a primary text write a catchy creative copy that entices users to click on your ad moving on you can add your website url by click on the check box below add your url a short description and can add some display links too next if you scroll down you will encounter tracking here the concept of facebook comes up here is a fun fact for you all you know google facebook instagram keeps a track of activity of its users and knows more about us than we know about ourselves so what actually facebook pixels do facebook pixels keep track of our website visitors and then display the ads accordingly it works on the concept of retargeting and remarketing ads to activate it all you need to do is install a facebook pixel on a website you can add some url parameters to find out which ad campaign gave you the best results next you need to click publish and your ad will go live it will generate great roi if you have done useful competitor analysis market and audience research so that was all but we don't leave you empty handed it's time for some tips and tricks first use dynamic creatives it is the best way to deploy ads they have recently gained roi and sales for many companies more than their expectations second use campaign budget optimization as discussed it is a powerful tool as it uses ai and machine learning to bring out the best third use retargeting ads through facebook pixel with the help of it you can easily retain your customers and increase conversions to your sales funnel if you want us to make more videos like this let us know in the comment section below hit like share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon